media and entertainment. Both of them, they are so beautiful and both of them, they're so rewarding and they are so professionally moving ahead with the entire team of Media Entertainment Skill Council. Let me share one of these segments of the media entertainment industry today. And that is basically when we talk about anchoring, how the anchor builds up the show, how the anchor builds up the news, how the anchor builds up the whole aura in everything whatsoever revolves around the entire galaxy of media entertainment industry. But ladies and gentlemen, before I come on to exclusively media entertainment industry, I also wish to share with you that the anchoring is not confined exclusively to media entertainment. It cuts across all the industries of the economy. And today, through this particular webinar, I will share with you, I will prove it to you. And by the time we finish this webinar, I'll convince to you, oh my God, I didn't know. Anchoring is a part of education also. Anchoring is a part of schools, colleges, technical education, vocational education, and whatever we empower in the human resources development, how anchoring is the integral part with the teachers and the students. And at the same time, we will also be talking about today when it is the COVID-19 and when we are talking about this particular pandemic, we will also talk about the industry. We will talk about the corporate sector. We will talk about the MSMEs, micro, small, medium enterprise. And we will talk a couple of other plethora of the services and of course the products together. Let's begin the journey. I think I should take and I should move with small PPT, which I would like to share with all of you so that we are in the common frequency and you get an idea what exactly we are talking about. And once again, while giving my thanks to Media Entertainment Skill Council, and particularly a person who comes from the trade, Mr. Mohit Soni, he is a professional. He is a person who understands what this industry is, and he has given a new shape and a new dimension. And nothing could have been more fortunate than to have Mr. Subhash Gui, Subhash Gaiji chairing this 2006 together. We had done one of the biggest event together in the JW Marriott Juhu in Mumbai. And that was the part of the Punjabi Parvasi Divas. Let me share with you our chamber, which is dealing with the 30 million non-resident Indians, which is dealing with the various services. Today, I'm going to share and build the canvas where we are going to talk about the art of anchoring, how it can cut across, it can move across, and it can help all the industries of the economy. Let's move on. Thanks. Now, let's go to the next slide. And now there are basically three segments which we take into consideration. One is the stage anchoring, one is the news anchoring, and one is the program anchoring. Stage anchoring generally is live, but some of the programs are recorded also sometime and thereafter they are aired and you see them on different television channels or different places. News anchoring, once again, generally it is live, but at the same time it is recorded also because if it is a repeated mode and it has to be done. Program anchoring, once again, generally it is recorded, but then sometime it is live as well. Now, Pooja ma'am, over here, would you like me to announce something live, something related to your media entertainment skill council, something you want me to announce? Yes, sir. Uh, Tell me. What I'd like to uh, request, if you, with your permission, uh, we can have our audience click their selfies with you after the okay. presentation and okay. post them on social media by okay. tagging media entertainment skills council and Vidyadan. Okay. And as, you're, as you would like to announce, I can, uh, re I'll be really glad. And I think the winner will be really glad if you announce his name. Okay. The winner for Ms. Kiran Juneja Sippy Ma'am's session is, and you know the name. So you have to do it the way Anchor would do. On okay. So. so ladies and gentlemen, let me go live. And let me share with all of you and let me bring some power and some energy. And before I announce the name of particular anchor, all of us, those are watching us, 
all of us, those are viewing and sharing and those have been kind to get their time for this particular session. I wish to share with all of you, today is your day. This is your time. This is your life. This is your future. This is your tomorrow. You are the best. And whatsoever you want to get on this particular planet, you can get it. It's possible. It's necessary. You can achieve that. It's achievable. And it's a must if you want to get it. Now, let me share the name and whatsoever Pooja ma'am has asked me. Ladies and gentlemen, the award winner of Madam Kiran Juneja Sippi's program is Mr. Abhishek Patra from Orissa. Big hand for Mr. Abhishek Patra, please. Big hand onto wherever you are. This boy is the winner. And whatever is the prize is the secret that Pooja ma'am and Kiran ma'am, they will together share with each other. Okay, Pooja ma'am. So with that, we move on to, we were talking about stage anchoring, news anchoring and program anchoring. Let's move on to the next one. Sure, sir. When we talk about the media entertainment industry, media, when I talk about, it's a print media, it's a radio, it's a broadcast, it's a television, it's a new media. What we are using nowadays, the social media, and of course, the blogging is also playing a very important role. And boys and girls, children, world over, they are making optimum use of the social media to reach out. And today, it has become so important that it is almost a part of the life. If you want to build your business, that's why there's a business communication, voiceover, business writing, that part also we take care of in media. In entertainment industry, when I talk about, you have got radio, television, theater, music, films, you have got animation, you have got gamification. And I'm a person who is very deeply convinced that gamification in education is very, very important. As long as we can get the games, the positive games and the gamification in education in a positive way with the help of the producers or the product developers, if we can have the gamification in education, where the strategy, where the tactics, where the management, where the group therapies and where the networking and everything is being taught, gamification in education is very important. And of course, there's another very important therapy which goes in our education system in entertainment industry is called music therapy. Music therapy is very important. There's a lady from Assam. She has convinced me so much. She plays violin and she is uh, Madam Sunita Bhuya. And with violin, she teaches leadership. She teaches management. She teaches theater. And she gives the new techniques in the management in the corporate sector. So music therapy is another very important therapy and a very important part as far as entertainment industry and the media part is concerned. Now, most of us, we are known to a couple of avenues like uh, sports shows, travel shows, cuisine-based shows, technical shows, business shows, tele-shopping shows, industry corporate shows, health and wellness and fitness and gym shows, and of course, education-related shows. These are different shows we are already aware of. There are commentators, there are radio jockeys, there are video jockeys, there are voiceover artists, there are travel program anchors, there are weather reporting studios and anchors, and there's a live reporting correspondents also. Those get to the field, they go onto the ground, they host various programs and various events. So these are some of the known avenues. But there are some hidden, unknown avenues also. We will be unveiling shortly and we will share with each other what exactly are those areas. These are some of the prominent anchors to whom you see day in and day out. They are so prominent. They are so vibrant. So what is the first mantra? And what is the first principle when you want to be a good anchor? You've got to be passionate about your subject. That is something very important. The energy has to flow from your body when you talk about your subject. And same thing goes for my teachers and my principals and people, those are in education fraternity. Unless the energy and the passion doesn't flow, the children will not be attracted. 
So it's something very important. So these are some of the prominent anchors when they come on the television, you feel like listening to them. Each and every word, whatsoever they convey, you listen, you come to the edge of your seat and you say, what was that conveyed? What was that? I would like to listen to that carefully. And that is something which is very important when you talk about news anchors. The video jockeys, again, something very important. Our youth are very fond of, and these are some of the rocking stars. Those are there as a video jockeys, and they come on to radio anchors, something very, very important. Radio has taken one of the important seat in media entertainment industry today, ladies and gentlemen. I am reminded of way back when I talk about the early 60s and 70s, there used to be a program called and there was a particular kind of a music and a tone, and it used to come. Behno or bhaiyo, ye hai Amin Sayani. Aur aaj ki bina ka geet mala par aap sunenge sola hit geet is hafte ke. Aur bina ka geet mala ki sol mi paydan par aaj geet aa raha hai. And that is the way it used to start. And today we hear, main hoon Nilesh Mishra. Kahaniya sunata hoon. और कहानियों से आप तक पहुंचता हूं आपके दिलों तक पहुंचता हूं वन एड यू मस्ट बी सींग ऑन द सोशल मीडिया व्हिच कम्स विद निलेश गॉड ब्लेस हिम ही इज अ वंडरफुल सोल बिकॉज दैट इज नेक्स्ट टू माय हार्ट व्हेन ही सेज मुझे कारगिल में जाने का अवसर मिला और कारगिल को कवर करने का अवसर मिला जब मैंने कारगिल को कवर किया तो मुझे पहली बार महसूस हुआ कि फौजियों का भी एक परिवार होता है और उनके दिल में भी परिवार रहता है देश के साथ साथ परिवार भी चलता है दैट इज समथिंग लाइक अ रेडियो जॉकीज दिस अ गर्ल इन चंदीगढ़ व्हेन आई टॉक अबाउट मोनिका व्हेन आई टॉक अबाउट शी हैज गॉट ओए ओए शो व्हिच इज सो पॉपुलर विद द चिल्ड्रन सिमिलर वे द नावे द गिनी एंड ऑल दीज दे आर वेरी पॉपुलर विद द यंगस्टर्स God bless them. They are doing so wonderful today. The radio is also very important, and anchors play a very important role because anchors live in their role. You don't see them, but through their voice, you reach their heart. You feel them. You feel them so near. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me share with you today, wherever you are, whatever age group you are, whatever profession you are, apni kitchen me, apne drawing room me. अपने बेडरूम में अपने घर में अपने बाथरूम में कहीं पर भी जहां भी मौका मिलता है गुनगुनाइए अपने से बातचीत कीजिए क्योंकि दिस लॉकडाउन पीरियड में अगर आप अपने आप से बातचीत करेंगे तो मोहित सोनी किसी ना किसी माध्यम से अपनी मीडिया एंटरटेनमेंट स्किल काउंसिल से विल टेक यू टू द हाइट्स एंड टू द न्यू हाइट्स एंड योर टैलेंट विल बी एग्जिबिटेड बिफोर बिकॉज अनलेस योर टैलेंट डजेंट गेट exhibited displayed and disseminated and where people see it how the people will come to know what talent you are carrying share your talent we will work out a strategy our chamber would be more than happy to work very closely with media entertainment skill council because they are doing wonderful job and we are always proud of them thank you sir no. thank you thank you pooja thank you sports anchors ladies and gentlemen this is also another area of the anchoring you see these ladies and gentlemen they are doing so well and whenever you go for any particular sport event now this is also one of the profession and with sport anchoring how many other chains are being associated that is also we are going to see in a little while these are live anchors my god such a wonderful programs you see from time to time nowadays many people come on the kapil sharma show they want to see it they want to laugh they want to be happy we have got manish paul you have got sharukh khan you have got salman khan amitabh ji is kon banega karodpati and aishman khurana and you have got uh, karan johar and like them many others for the live anchoring so from today onwards i would request each one of you those are associated in this particular program those are at present associated with us live on this program whenever you talk to anybody whenever you are talking even at home talk with energy talk with conviction talk with happiness talk with passion because whatever you do many people you hear on the telephone and when you talk to them they say hello and you say hello 
and others, hello, and you say, hello, and third, hello, and you say, yes, hello. The thing is your tone, your pitch, your voice, your modulation, your energy, that gets radiated because on the other side, the person is not seeing you. But here, when I'm talking about live anchors, you can do wonders. And today, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the boys and girls, those are thinking we are unemployed. Sorry, you have got so much of energy in you. You have got so much of talent in you. The only thing is you're always hesitant. You're always shy. You don't want to come out with talent, uh, your talent. Don't worry about anybody. Don't worry about anything. Don't worry about what others will think, what others will talk about. Take out your talent. Talk with passion. Talk with energy. Le Generally, the ladies do not tell their age. And now, the, the male members also. But let me share with you. I'm 70 years of age with a 20 years energy because I'm passionate toward the subject and I feel there is no other better skill. There is no other skill which can fetch you a better job than the communication skill, whatsoever profession you are. Make best use of the Media Entertainment Skill Council and move ahead whatsoever best you can do. Now, this is the another segment. I will talk in detail with you something very important. Today, everybody says, my business is going my business is going down. What will I do after lockdown? What will I do after this COVID-19? What will I do after 17th of May? Ladies and gentlemen, from this particular moment, from this particular session, put on your thinking cap. Put on your passionate cap. Bring and recharge your energy and start thinking. It is not few anchors in this country. Each one of you is an anchor in your own progeny, in your own area. Exhibit your talent. Exhibit your energy. You can do wonders. Shriya Bhan, she has grown over the years and so much she does the wonder. And same goes for my other colleagues, my friend. I will talk my children because they're my, they're, they're my kids. And that's the way when I talk about they're doing wonders. Anything is possible on this planet. And the business part, business anchors, we need more and more. Those are from the commerce. Those are from the science. Those are from engineering. Those are from management. Irrespective of whatsoever your subject, including the art student, be specialist of your subject. These business anchors, when they come and they anchor and they host the show, whether the live or the recorded, they always do their homework very well. If you know your subject very well, you can do wonders on this planet. The problem is we do not want to work hard. Today, everybody thinks, let's work smart. It's okay. You work smart. You look smart. You can put perfume on your body, but that will remain only for a few hours. But if you put perfume in your knowledge, in your body, in your cerebrum, in your system, nobody can steal it. It can exhibit it can transform the entire humanity. That part is very important. Okay, when I talk about the business anchor, something very interesting over here, communication skill is the key. It's a very important key. After this particular program, which we are sharing at this point of time, I would request each one of you, go, just see on the YouTube, there's a gentleman who moved from Libya all the way to United States. The people, those have moved from outside to foreign countries because our chamber is dealing with 31 million non-resident Indians. We know exactly what exactly happens offshore and how much hard work those people have to put in to survive, to grow and to enrich and to exhibit whatever qualities and talents they have got. On the YouTube, you see one gentleman called Nito Cuban, N-I-D-O-Q-U-B-I-N. He is the richest and the highest paid communicator and the communication skills trainer today. And it is an exorbitant to understand his one sentence has rocked me. And he says, Dr. Gulshan Sharma, when I met him in America, he tells me, Dr. Gulshan Sharma, it is no more communication. It is connecting. I said, what is that? He says, 
connecting heart to heart connecting soul to soul connecting mind to mind connecting people to people from communication when you are conveying your feelings you should get connected and glued to the other party then only so sales marketing and public relation when i talk about ladies and gentlemen those are into the profession of sales marketing and public relation they are anchors because they are the people those are doing their profession in the best possible way and to become a good sales person good and good good anchoring is very important okay business communication skill those of us those are doing journalism or any other subject or those are studying the management part of it you have got public speaking you have got collaborative arrangements you have got listening drills and listening programs you have got non verbal communication written communication and couple of other things are there which, which comes as a part of the business communication skills i'm going a little fast because there's a lot to share with you now this is the key which you have to understand in today's world content is the king a lot of people have moved it to media entertainment industry a lot of people have gone and i'm not talking about only bombay you've got tamil films you've got uh, andhra film telugu films you've got uh, bhojpuri films you have got other regional language films you have got so much so much of a treasure available in this country why some of the films and why some of the stories and why some of the television serials they become so hit and they become so popular and people get glued to them what exactly is there ladies and gentlemen we got to understand today through this session content is the king even if you are a teacher we are teaching your subject in your school your college your institution if your contents are powerful your students are going to enjoy your session they are going to be a part of yours so content is the king look at it right in front of content is the king i've shown you a movie which is of a low budget but it did extremely well at the box office down below if i see even an expensive film may not do that well at the box office if it does not have a compelling story appealing story so the content is very important i am reminded of one uh, personal uh, humor and a joke i wish to share uh one of my very close friends who is the producer director writer actor he wanted to launch his son and he produced a movie called love story 2050 and as a good gesture i blocked four audies in chandigarh in the alante mall because i wanted the first show free of cost for the youngsters and all that and i had so much of difficulty i had so much of problem to pull the crowd because the story was not pulling the crowd at the same time see on the right hand side kaun banega karodpati look at it is when you look at it it's a question answer it's like a classroom session but the person who is doing it the person who is doing with the passion the person who is doing with convention uh, conviction and the contents it is so powerful it's so interesting that anybody and everybody who ever is watching it at home they feel like getting glued to it so ladies and gentlemen in future you got to understand those of us those are in part of whether business fraternity or education fraternity or you're talking about media entertainment fraternity content is very very important which we have to talk about and we have to think about now let me just come to next to my heart it was very difficult because when you join indian army you join basically to fight at the borders and you just go over there to pick up uh, whatever protecting your borders whatever is there you are groomed you are chiseled you are developed and you are nourished in all together a different tactical way from there when you shift to the education sector where you got to be humble you got to be polite you got to be decent you got to be courteous you got to be dealing with parents you got to be dealing with counselors teachers colleagues principal headmasters whoever is there now i'm taking the extension of anchoring in a little different role the principals the teachers those are watching this particular webinar i wish to share with you the role of teacher is that of an anchor just visualize your entire school and your classroom your classroom is a theater you are a performer you are an actor the audience those are sitting in front of you the students 
they are your audience your stage management your content management your vocal management your speech your diction your passion your conviction your subject knowledge and your creativity and at the same time presence of mind how to make the last man in the class happy that is something anchoring it is not different from traditionally people have been thinking about so mr mohit soni i would like to tell you from this particular session today along with your all colleagues in your team you have to work further your responsibility is going to increase you got to take ministry of hrd with you you got to be taking aict with you ugc with you ncert with you national council for teacher education with you let's have a kind of a module and let's kind of a program fit into and as a part of the curriculum of the bed and the emed whoever becomes teacher there should be an extended program they got to be good anchors they got to be good motivators they got to be convincing that whatsoever they are saying it is correct and they are well read and they know so thereby let's take this entire agenda of anchoring into the ministry of hrd also and i'm pretty sure your uh, skill council is already doing a lot onto that and of course vidyadan today with mr subhash gai and your entire team i would like to uh, give my salutations to all of you what a beautiful concept that you have brought the whole nation and you have brought the whole globe because today in this particular webinar we have got the people from myanmar we have got from cambodia we have got from laos we have got from entire northeast we have got from thailand we have got from mongolia we have got from bahrain we have got from malaysia i have got a lot of people from our chamber also those are part of this particular session today and i'm thankful my deepest gratitude to all of them that through this particular session we all are getting linked and we are trying to think what exactly can be done in anchoring in the extended mode that part is very important now ladies and gentlemen when i was talking about communication skill and that is connecting with that something very interesting goes <clears throat> and i wish to share with all of you music therapy plays very important role music therapy those of us wherever you are i do not know how pooja ma'am is going to work out how she is going to plan but for one minute my child is also coming out of me when i am having this connecting skills and a communication skills and a anchoring skills big discussed i wish to share with all of all of us wherever you are i will take you back to my era 1967 one of the beautiful songs sung by mahendra kapoor on a karaoke we just sing for one minute together i will play the karaoke and from there we will try and uh, work out um, oh puja yes, i just i just wanted to get uh, if you permit me i sir, just want to yeah, is sure, it possible if if you permit me it's there so yes uh, absolutely please go ahead uh puja i just wish to share and um, this is your screen puja and uh, this is my screen yes ladies and gentlemen those are of uh, somewhere middle age and 1967 if you have been enjoying music i wish to have har ek gaane ke andar there is a sthai and a antara so i'll take only sthai portion because time is less so i'll be taking a little portion of that and together because music therapy i want to tell unless the child doesn't come out of you unless you don't start feeling like your students and your children and you start feeling like a kid you cannot enjoy the life and i am going to play a small karaoke and after a long time i do not know how much is the gap but i'll try and sing with all of you for one minute because the good anchor is and the good anchoring skill is you got to involve your audience whether a live show or whatever it is even if the recorded shows are coming on the television or program anywhere you are at home and you are in your kitchen you still sing with that because you enjoy the tune and that music therapy let the music skill let the music therapy come out of you and together we can take on all of us 
this particular small kind of a beat and this will be only for one minute with the permission of Pooja. Do I have your permission, Pooja, for this? Absolutely, sir. <clears throat> okay. I'm also going to get saying now. Okay. Let's try it out. Although it's, it's from my era, but we'll try. Join all of us. Okay. Sure. Right. Thank you, Pooja. Okay, thank you. I thank you. Transferred your energy in all of it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Uh, now they will uh, post this session. I am sure everybody will be singing and dancing too. And yeah. they get ready with their <laughs> dancing shoes for our uh, uh, class on dance. Uh, can we proceed uh, if you permit me, Pooja? Yes, please. Uh, is the screen okay? The communication skill and the music therapy? Yes. Okay. Let me proceed further. And today, after this song, at the age of 70, if I have got this energy, and if I can sing, I'm not bothered whether I sing, I do the riyaz every day or not. But ladies and gentlemen, if I enjoy singing, you sing in kitchen, you sing in bathroom, you sing in bedroom, you sing in drawing room, you sing wherever you are. And all the teachers today, I'm telling you, anybody who enjoys music as a teacher, let me give you one new dimension to the pedagogy. If you enjoy music, you will have more empathy for your students. The person who enjoys music will always be, always be having more empathy. It is very important. Music, music gives you, it's a lubricant to life. It's a lubricant to your energy. It's a lubricant to recharge yourself. Enjoy, whenever you are tired, listen to the music, gungunao and you will be recharged. Okay, let me just proceed. Something very interesting, people, those are in MSME sector, those are in other industries, and they are telling me, our business is going down. The lockdown is there. COVID-19 has brought so much of problem for me. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to the, when I go to 1918 Spanish flu, thereafter, so many flus have come. And so many flus have gone from today onward with Media Entertainment Skill Council. 
start thinking that your body has got a new kind of energy you are very special you are very different god has made you something very unique half the problem will go away you know when i teach in america for two months and i talk to some of my colleagues one of the trainer when you talk about life coach because in america they always say to this basketball and other sports people life coach he is my life coach so when i talk about a particular life coach there's a punjabi guy his name is tim grover seems sometime on the youtube and particularly for the basketball he is a coach and he is the person who trained for years together to a person who stood as number 1 to the world this gentleman tells me only one thing he says dr gulshan sharma we devote more time on our body in the gym but we don't devote time for our mind ladies and gentlemen from today from this particular session give equal importance to your mind also like you try and make your muscles and make your body and i have got four ribs and six ribs and i look this and i stand left and i stand right start doing exercise with your mind also because your mind is sharp if your mind is agile if your mind is passionate if your mind is energetic you will never be tired you see me in the morning at 9 o'clock and you see me at 9 o'clock in the evening i will be talking to you with the same energy because i am passionate and i enjoy my profession now those of us those are into the business sector micro small medium enterprise or couple of other because 11 crore people are associated when we were talking to nitin gadkari ji through the chamber and when we were talking to various associations now ladies and gentlemen some of the skills are directly linked with the anchoring let me share with you sales techniques marketing techniques public relation techniques events related to business guest management services post delivery services customer satisfaction services in the bpo nobody sees you they just listen to your voice and from that voice a matured person can make out are you really serious to take on that particular problem in your bpo or not anchoring is happening every moment you are anchoring with each other in residence also with your wife with your mother with your father with your children with everybody so thereby please increase the scope of anchoring and uh, those of us those are in education sector do you remember that you make anchoring charts where you have the tables and you have displays and you teach them these are fruits these are vegetables and all that try and see the bigger scope because i am going to recommend something to mr mohit soni the media entertainment skill council after this particular webinar and there i will give you the dimension what is to be done in corporate sector and what is to be done in education sector and of course in the media entertainment sector where whosoever is interested to become anchor now we discussed about the content earlier if you remember that content is the king now over here ladies and gentlemen through these visuals i want to give you content drives the craft in media entertainment industry in education industry in corporate sector how on the top i am showing you media entertainment in byjus in byjus when i talk about the gentleman should have promoted or could have promoted or might have promoted his product at his own why did he need uh, king khan why did he need sharuk khan because there was somebody who was driving that particular content and that craft sharuk khan could give and the people understood ah sharuk khan ji is talking so well let's try it out by juice once similar way the ted talks a lot of people are getting through the social media their income yes social media is very very important ladies and gentlemen your content that drives the craft you got to understand it is something very important okay coming to the fourth last slide and i wish to share with all of you what's the future what's there in the storage for us you have to understand the creativity so far which basically people were thinking only confined to media entertainment industry take the anchoring to the other shore also the creativity has to marry the business 
the creativity has to marry the commerce like in our chamber we have changed the definition of b2b earlier it was business to business now ladies and gentlemen it is b2b is called today back to basics if you get to the basics you will survive and you will grow so creativity has to marry the commerce the creativity has to marry the business that part is very important which all of us we have to understand last 6 uh, six and a half years we have dedicated from our chamber uh, towards the northeast part of india under the honorable prime minister's uh, advice and programs act east policy northeast beautiful eight states which we have got of this country when you start right from tripura and you come to manipur you come to assam you go to meghalaya you come to arunachal you go to nagaland you go to sikkim you go any place when you talk about the northeast that is linked with the southeast asia and today our chamber is deeply i am i am indebted that all all the presidents and all our counter associates from the entire southeast asia right starting from the myanmar to the cambodia to the laos to the thailand to the singapore to the malaysia to the indonesia to the philippines and to the brunei they are a part of this particular webinar today mr mohit soni ji you should be so happy that today through this particular webinar and through this particular presentation you are linking india northeast at, across to the southeast asia our president at present also in thailand in bangkok watching this particular webinar and at the same time immediate past president of ours in the los angeles he is also watching this particular webinar and he is keen to know what exactly media entertainment skill council is doing and how we can take it forward we have got two recommendations to make to media entertainment skill council today first of all my deep gratitude and thanks to mohit soni ji subhash gai ji and the entire team of mr mohit soni and of course my anchor today pooja arora ma'am who is here she is my anchor and i am the anchor to all of you so the connection is there the golden triangle is there when we all are connected through this particular webinar although a lot of programs have already been announced and i'm pretty sure media entertainment skill council is already doing wonders they are doing a lot of programs we from our chamber icsi would like to be a partner with media entertainment skill council through your forum whatever you have got media entertainment uh, skill council your ministry your nsdc and ministry of hrd or national council for teacher education aict ugc ncert nipa aiu whatever you can think of the fraternity related to education including the people those are watching from southeast asia we strongly recommend from this particular chamber to media entertainment skill council let us organize one week program world over from the media entertainment skill council exclusively where we will talk about the different dimensions where the role of the media entertainment skill council from the media entertainment moving to the human resources development education also and at the same time to the corporate sector also our chamber can deliver the program with your uh, skill council we can have a program to our each day and i commit and i promise the first program i will deliver myself with my team i would be anchor myself to do that particular program because i want jo so rahe hain wo jag jaye aur jo jage hue hain wo bhagne lag jaye aur jo bhag rahe hain wo competition ke liye aage aur badhe and we will develop the professional anchors across the entire economy when we talk about uh, the entire fraternity we will take into consideration from the corporate sector also those are doing sales marketing pr events and those are doing customer service you can also be a part of this particular program why not why not empower your business wherever you are we would like to see you growing rocking whatever best you can do the second part we have already written to various television channels in india we are also going to take up with the various state governments and we would request like you had communication uh, the, like you had the music uh, and dance idol contest in india and they were so popular everybody was watching i was also watching with my family at this age group why not to have a communication idol contest on a television channel and that can take care of and let's not confine only to india from the world over we can have a participation our chamber would be in a position and help you out 
and let's work out with one of the television channel whomsoever you feel appropriate we have already written to mr np singh and we have written to couple of other people we would be more than happy if we can consolidate because somebody thought of kon banega karodpati and many became karodpati just because of that thought process idea germinated anywhere and if it is left there only it remains idea but if idea converted into reality it becomes something like a human resource and it becomes the economic resource also particularly when people are feeling that we are under lockdown with these words ladies and gentlemen we would like to convey our deepest gratitude and thanks to everybody who ever joined this particular webinar who ever is a part of this particular program down below we have given you on this particular slide my personal cell number you're more than happy to be a part of coming on to if you're interested we have also given you email id we have given you website but of course we would like to do all the programs of entertainment industry business industry and education industry with the help of mr mohit soni and his team and ladies and gentlemen this is my pledge this is my commitment that media entertainment skill council can do the wonders if something can reform and something can empower and something can bail out lot of people out of this particular lockdown this is media entertainment skill council and media entertainment industry start thinking positive you will get positive thoughts when you think negative you get only negative thoughts when you are less energized you cannot empower others so make a commitment to yourself and when i talk you talk within your own soul today is my day this is my day this is my life i am the best i am going to do wonders on this particular planet it's possible it's a must it's necessary it will happen we will do it because it's all communication connection communication connecting that is the way we would like to take on anchoring further and of course with that thank you very much for joining us and uh, at the end uh, pooja ma'am if you can play that song next to my heart uh, i i wish to give that message to everybody world over if uh, wherever people are let them get that uh, message uh, i would like to tell them please share your screens listen to the audio very well and this goes from my side and thereafter we come to pooja here it goes thank you very much everybody thank you very much for joining the question answers and everything pooja will take on after this song i'll just play for one minute pooja ma'am do i have your permission yes. oh, absolutely thank you thank you pooja ma'am thank you thank you oh, i'm so grateful you. and i just stop my screen thank you thank you pooja ma'am thank you so much sir <laughs> we are getting so many compliments so many appreciation thanks for you and uh, we have so many messages there is a uh, gautam sharma is saying sir you have really made these moments memorable never attended such exciting session we have people saying sir we loved your voice and we are enjoying it so sir at the age of 70 as you have disclosed you can i didn't want to i didn't want to tell that <laughs> you can compete with a young guy of 18 or 19 years age yes yes okay. biological age is no age it is, it is your mental age and all my principals and teachers those are watching from today let's change the education fraternity in this country <laughs> age is just a number <laughs> yes yes okay so so many questions so many people uh, and uh, will be glad to mention that today with icsi with uh icsi vidyadan has reached across the globe and we have mr dato ramesh kodamal ji from malaysia ms geeta chopra from bahrain mr mohan gunti from cambodia ms angela solmus from mongolia mr vikas malhotra from canada mr vimal from from london mr sanjay gupta from dubai mr naresh from myanmar and the list can go on and on and on so uh thank you and everybody is so energetic so let me quickly come and ask few questions although you have cleared everything during your uh, 
uh, presentation, everything uh, was like amazing. So uh, I had many questions that are already being answered by your presentation. I have one question, like uh, you have mentioned also, media entertainment sector is in huge demand even during the lockdown with major shifting to OTT and digital platform. How do you see this after COVID for anchors? Do you think uh, like anchors sitting in Dubai will be hosting a show in Canada and viewers will be across the globe? Like, do you see that possible? <clears throat> Uja ma'am, first of all, uh, once again, I would like to take Madam, Madam Pooja Arora, ma'am, and all my viewers out of the shell of exclusively media entertainment. <laughs> let's increase the let's increase the base first of all. Media entertainment, I will talk, but anchoring is across all industries world over, wherever you are, in any business you are, in any profession you are. I can convince you. And I can tell you and I can give you the logic how anchoring is being done across all industries. That is my first part. Second part, necessity is the mother of invention. Discovery is the mother of invention. Like you and me are talking today with so many people world over, this was possible and this we adopted when because there's a lockdown. There is a coronavirus. Now it has given a new birth and new dimension. It has given altogether new pedagogy. You got to understand that. So similar way, all the anchors world across, please feel free. We are going to have a lot of opportunities for you. It's not only live anchoring shows, the dimensions will change. The, the style would change. The display would change. The sitting plan would change, but the anchors will remain till the universe will remain. That is my thought. Okay, great. And uh, let's take the live questions because we have several questions coming in. Sure. Let's uh, take it uh, here. There is a question that how should you rework your communication strategy with your clients when you <coughs> are not physically present in front of them in today's uh, pandemic environment? Yeah. Pooja ma'am, whosoever asked this question, first of all, very intelligent question. And he is intelligent. And uh, my thanks to the gentleman or lady. See, when somebody is not seeing you, when somebody is not watching you, and once somebody physically not in front of you, when you talk on a telephone, when you communicate on a telephone, I gave an example, if you remember, and something very interesting I'll share with you, one live example. I was sitting in, somebody invited me, and there were 100 principals together, and uh, I would like to convey my thanks through this webinar to ASN Mayur Vihar principal, the lady in charge over there, the, the, the higher secondary or the secondary, the higher uh, education. A lot of people were sitting over there and the lady asked me and she told me, Dr. Sharma, could you be kind enough to spare one hour and watch how the parents behave when they come for parents teacher meeting and parents principal meeting and what exactly happens over there. I was watching very carefully, very sincerely each and every node. And over there, one of the parents came and the gentleman told me, now listen every word very carefully, then you will get the central idea answer to this question. The father of the boy asked me and he addressed to me, he told me, sir, you know, good morning. I said, good morning. He said, sir, my boy is not energetic. My boy doesn't talk. I looked at him. I looked at the volume and the pitch and the tone of his voice. And I told him, no wonders why your son doesn't talk. No wonders why your son doesn't speak. No wonders your son is like that. Don't blame him. And ladies and gentlemen, from today, all the parents stop blaming schools, stop blaming colleges and institutions, teachers and principals and counselors and anchors. No, your role is also equally important. 
It is not that you deposit your child early in the morning at eight o'clock in the school, pick up at five o'clock in the evening when everything is being done and you say, school, we have paid the fee to you, transform my child. That's not the way. So thereby, I personally feel whosoever is asking this question, your own energy would also matter. Your client would be very happy and convinced. Even if service cannot be delivered, you must convey with a conviction that whatever you are saying is correct and you're convinced that this information, what I'm imparting and what I'm conveying is 100% true to my conscious and soul. Okay, so another question. Do you think formal degree and apprenticeship opportunities can lead to high wage employability or uh, more opportunity as a freelancer for anchors uh, in any industry? Pooja ma'am, this is one of the most difficult question you are asking to an educator or to a teacher or to, to a motivator. <clears throat> Let me share with you, throw the degree out of window. Throw the degree out of the door. Your skill would matter. Your skill, your skill, your perfection in the skill, whatever profession you are, your skill would matter. Degrees would be mere just to put onto my wall and to put it over there. What is exactly happening? I don't want to because my immediate past president from Los Angeles is on the line. But uh, I hope he would apologize me. Uh, he, he would excuse me and I apologize well in advance. I wish to share. Howard, Stamford, Wharton, they are giving free courses du during this particular lockdown in this COVID-19. And at a point of time, I feel sometimes amazed. People are spending lakhs and lakhs and lakhs and they're going abroad. And when you, when, you, when you talk to some of the parents, why are you sending your child abroad? Quality education, need-based education, would settle abroad and all. Ladies and gentlemen, the need of the hour is your skill. And a lot of people are coming back to India also because our chamber is deeply dealing with most of the NRIs. A lot of people are interested to come back to India. In my heart, in my research, with my entire team, because uh, you would be so happy to know that my entire team, which did the research and this presentation, what they worked on. I just came with you because I'm on nine webinars every day. 70 years old, young man is on nine webinars every day. This is future. This is the way you have to work out. And all the people, those have joined from abroad with Media Entertainment Skill Council, anything you need, you're more than, you're more than welcome. Share with us this particular Skill Council we want to take it to offshores and we want to build relations wherever it's possible. So degree won't matter. It's your skill which would matter. Okay, great. So uh, we have even mentioned uh, sir's name and we have a compliment coming from you from Mr. Dato Ramesh Kodamalji. Uh, well done, uh, sir. Good advice. I, I, fold, I fold my hand before Datoji. He's my senior. He's my elder. I have to learn a lot from him. Karan Singh Thakralji is also watching from Singapore. I am grateful to you also. My deep gratitude to Mohanji also in Cambodia. My deep thanks to Naresh Ji in Myanmar. My deep thanks to Geeta Chopra ma'am also in Bahrain. All of you are wonderful. I have to learn a lot from you. I feel like I don't have anything to do. And Angela, I'm so grateful to you. You're setting up a finishing school in Mongolia. It is the Media Entertainment Skill Council. We would like to take their help through this particular platform. We would like to move one step faster and we would move hopping strategy work on to. Sure, so definitely. So uh, we didn't realize that we are ahead of time now. <laughs> so I think I'll... Uh, take, I won't take much of your time now. Maybe you can give, you've already passed in all your energy, it's flowing and everybody's energetic. Level is still <laughs> same. You can ask me anything. Level is same. <laughs> Absolutely, sir. Yes. So our students also deserve a message from you. So that keeps them motivated and uh, they keep on, like you said, 
बैठे हो तो उठ जाओ उठे हो तो खड़े हो जाओ खड़े हो तो भागो तो लेट्स डू द भागो थिंग फॉर एवरीबॉडी लेज एंड जेंटमैन वी लर्न लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स फ्रॉम आवर फैमिली इट सेल्फ माय वाइफ इज माय फर्स्ट टीचर बिकॉज आफ्टर माय गुरुजन फ्रॉम होम से एवर आई पिक्ड अप एवरीथिंग एंड आई जॉइंड इंडियन आर्मी एंड आई गॉट मैरिड माय वाइफ इज माय फर्स्ट टीचर शी टॉट मी वैल्यूज एंड आफ्टर मैरिज सम सीक्रेट्स आई एम शेयरिंग शी टोल्ड मी घर में दो चीज नहीं आएंगी मैंने बोला वट एग्जैक्टली इज दैट नंबर वन यू विल नेवर ब्रिंग लिकर एट होम let it remain a uh, mm-hmm. non liquor and a vegetarian home i said given like mahadev gives uh, <laughs> vardan i said given no problem what is the second part she says second part can i ask i said okay you will never ever take wrong money and a wrong money earning from any source you will work hard and that is the day ladies and gentlemen till date we have maintained i do not want to get a single rupee which i don't deserve i don't want to take a single rupee which i don't want to get that part is very important which we have to understand and secondly i would like to give a message to my younger generation something very important which we have to understand that is younger generation my daughter she is my teacher my son he is also my teacher my daughter she is calm composed always she gives me lot of insight my son always is more vibrant bubbling with energy and all he says dad you have to learn how to work smart my son tells me and i tell him son you have to learn how to work hard every morning and every evening we talk to each other so i think ladies and gentlemen with my generation and with the present generation millennials it has to go together you have to work hard also you have to work smart also make best use of the technology the best possible way whatever is available whatever is there make best use of it younger generation is going to bring a change world over media entertainment skill council should help out wherever the youngsters are whatever best together we can do so you will be glad to uh, hear that we have a message from mr mohit soni also for you <laughs> we saying dear sir i always mention that a step on the stage after you have addr- uh, have addressed the audience and engage them is amongst the most tough task i have faced in life so he also finds it tough after coming uh, you know after you on stage minor said, my my final word to mr mohit soni like mahadev i would like to say which i serial i watch on the television all the episodes that my entire energy is for the media entertainment skill council all of you your entire team is the most dynamic and the vibrant and my deepest regards and gratitude and thanks to all of you and of course finally my salutation because mohit soni ji you come from the industry you are a professional you are doing wonders we will always pass on all our energy and we will bring synergy and our final thanks to pooja arora ma'am thank you sir uh but uh, the last line i can't miss he saying at last just sharing personal words to you in public maza aa gaya what a session and hats off to you and this is the statement by mr mohit sir <laughs> he is a wonderful person ladies and gentlemen you must understand from this platform i wish to tell whenever i have met him he is full of energy and he is full of knowledge he always wants to acquire more and more knowledge he wants to know about the industry about the trade about the equipment about the people what is happening in the industry he is a moving encyclopedia as far as his profession is concerned i salute you mohit soni and my life is dedicated to media entertainment skill council great sir now i have one <laughs> request like you have taken this show uh miles away uh, like it's going somewhere in heaven everybody is uh, full of energy you be my anchor and just tell everybody to register for online courses that are coming from 13th of uh, may and okay. register for our upcoming webinars ladies and, an- ge- and yes ladies and gentlemen what pooja ma'am is saying i endorse that i request all of you if you have enjoyed the session guru dakshana ke liye main haath phaila ke aap se kehta hu 
कि आप रजिस्टर कीजिए और इसका पूरा फायदा उठाइए और एक सीक्रेट शेयर करता हूं कि मैं भी रजिस्टर होऊंगा और मैं भी कोर्स करूंगा थैंक यू थैंक यू I would like to mention that free dance classes by Dancemith are coming from 13th of May for all of you. So be ready with your dancing shoes and meet a masterclass by Mr. Terence Lewis on Friday, May 15th wow. at 11:30 a.m. Wow. Yes, I am sure everybody must have clicked their selfie. If not, then with Gulshan sir smile, we can click our selfies. <laughs> on uh, social media me, uh, media and entertainment skills council and vidyadan and keep following us do share your thoughts your feedback is also important so do share it on vidyadan at mescindia.net thank you so much sir we are obliged we are honored to have you here with on vidyadan thank you pooja ma'am thank you and as a father i give my blessings to you thanks for hosting me thanks for being my anchor thanks for giving me this opportunity to mohit soni subhash ghaiji and the entire fraternity of media entertainment skill council you people are the best you are the best you are the best you are the best wow <laughs> that note and all the energy let's go ahead <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Stay safe. Thank you. Stay home. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. And Thank see you, you on the next session on Tuesday. Thank Bye. You. Thank you. Mr. Anuj Kakkarji. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, sir.